Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Coach Cheney with The Complete Athlete, man. Just want to drop in today and um, kind of check on you guys, man, see how it's going, man. It's been a while. It's been a busy season for me. Um, we just wrapped up the district championship, man, which gives us an automatic uh, entry into the playoffs. Very proud about that, man. But above and beyond all that, man, I just, I just want to give you guys some information on what I, I've been thinking about, what's been on my mind. Um, we just had our freshman, I think our freshman team plays our last game, and our JV team have just played their last game. But freshman, let me give you some advice about how to transition from that freshman level to the varsity level, what 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 does it take? What's what's coach looking for when you go from a freshman uh, uh, going into the spring playing with a varsity club? How are you going to make that varsity club? Let's talk. Right after your freshman year is over, I know it's been a long year. I know it's been a tough year. Uh, may have had some tough games. Right after this year is over, man, you need to hit the weight room immediately. Weight room number one. Weight room. All right. And, and maybe I shouldn't have said weight room number one. Grades. Make sure your grades are on point. Um, I demand of all my freshmen to have a 3.0, okay? So, grades, weight room. I'm not asking you to bench 400 pounds. I'm not asking you to clean 300 pounds. But what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to dedicate time to the weight room. Now, most likely, your varsity coaches are finishing up the varsity season, the playoffs, and all that, things of that nature then there will probably be a break in the action until uh, a winter, uh, uh, after winter break, okay? And after winter break, man, coach will start getting some things done. You'll probably be doing workouts. You'll probably be doing 707 if you're down south and it's not cold. But what you need to do on your own, all right, you need to make sure you're in that weight room on your own. Even if you have to get a, a weight membership outside of school, you have to develop your body right away freshman that's what you need to do you need to work on being strong you need to get in the weight room you need to make sure that when springtime comes and you start practicing with those varsity players physically you can handle what you need to handle now play as far as learning techniques and plays you may be a little bit behind by that because you probably haven't had the same instruction that the varsity guys and the same experience that they have but that's why we do spring practice all together. There's no freshman JV and varsity um, at my school um, in the spring. Everybody practices together. Everybody does drills together. You hit against, you may be hitting against a senior, you know, that's 230 pounds. Make sure you're ready for these things, all right? Also, dedication, mindset. Your mindset needs to be that I'm not missing school, that I'm not, you know, horse playing in class, that I'm going to be on time to everything, every meeting, uh, uh, every every checkpoint, every weightlifting session after after Christmas break. I'm going to be on time. I'm going to show up. There's not a day that my varsity coaches is not going to see me lifting weights, okay? This is very important, you know, and, and I know sometimes your parents have things for you to do and you got you, you got things. I, I get all that. But for the most part, man, 95% of the time you should be on time and you should be present. The biggest thing about varsity football even freshman football freshman football is not like pop warner where you get minimal plays jv football high school football period there's no minimum play rule you earn your playing time and a lot of that a lot of times that playing time is earned through trust you know do i have all my equipment when i come to practice do i have the proper shoes am i doing well in class do i show up to practice on time do i give a hundred percent effort at practice and a lot of parents get it misconstrued because you're not able to see what we see as coaches, okay? What you see is a, a final product on game night and the kid may not play and you're upset and, and you're used to a Pop Warner style situation where kids get six, seven minimal plays. I think that's the worst thing they could have ever done in Pop Warner because it gives, to me, it gives kids an excuse. And this may be controversial. I apologize in advance. It gives kids a, an excuse to say, hey, I'm going to play anyway, so I ain't got to work hard in practice. I don't agree with that. And, and, and to me, and what I, what, what, what I taught my kids and, and, you know, as growing up, you get better at home. You get better when you're not at practice. You get better in the offseason. You don't get better, much better during the season. 
that work you put in the off season, that running you're doing, that weight, the weight lifting you're doing, the, the videos you're watching, you know, you, the, the older guys that you're watching and you're emulating their play, that's what makes you better. Not some coach saying, hey, come out and play and, and, and go out on the field when I know that you really can't protect yourself or you really, you, 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 you really can't do the things physically that other people can do. No, that doesn't help you. What helps you is what you do in the offseason to get ready for the season. I tell my, I tell my kids who sign college football scholarships that six, seven months before you go to college, the weights you lift and the time you put in and the effort you put in and the things you're trying to learn – that's what helps you become a better college football player. Not going to college, you know, just average and, and, and not being very strong. And, 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 and since you've never rode the bench before, thinking that you're going to go to college and be an automatic starter. No, that's not how football works, guys. It, 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 it's really not. So we got to always understand, man, freshmen. After this freshman season is over, man, you need to be, you, you cannot stop grades, weights, mindset. Attitude, dedication. Parents, you got to get out of the way of this. You have to support this effort. You cannot complain on Friday nights when, it, when if, if a kid, because I'm telling you, we can, high school, there's cuts. You can cut kids in high school who aren't ready physically or mentally to play the game. You can cut kids. It's not always fun, but you can. They, cheerleaders cut, soccer cuts, basketball cuts. Why, why do football coaches always get beat up when they cut kids? Not all kids are, are ready to play at this level. They could be hot pop Warner superstars. But high school is a physical le level, man, where you can get seriously injured if you're not physically and mentally ready to play the game. So, freshmen, that's my plea to you. After this freshman football season is over, weight room, I'm going to keep saying it, grades, weight room, mindset, dedication, fight, toughness. We, we got a saying at, 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 on, on the varsity level, no tenderness at all. Don't, please don't, don't come to me or none of my coaches with nothing tender because we're going to call it out and we're going to tell you you tender. If that's what it warrants, we're going to tell you you tender. So please, understand what this game is about, Okay. It's not a game that everybody can play because if everybody could play football, we'll have 500 kids on the roster. It's hot. It's demanding. It's physical. It's, 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 it, you're going to hurt every day. That's what playing varsity football is all about. So I hope somebody receives something good from that. As a parent, just make sure your son is prepared to be able to keep up physically with the demands of high school varsity football. And don't get frustrated. And, and if he doesn't put we can tell as coaches instantly if he has not put in the work. Okay? And also, football is not a, a sprint. It's a marathon. That 1% or 2% of kids you may see start varsity as a freshman, that's, that's only 1% or 2%. That doesn't happen very often. Most kids can, can only maybe start one or two years on a varsity level because of the competition. How do you increase the odds of your kid getting on varsity early? What they do in the off season. Go to Planet Fitness and, and get them a trainer and, and, and let them work. Go get them a trainer and teach them how to run. Make sure they're in shape. Make sure their grades are good. Make sure they never miss. Make sure you're not the cause as a parent for them to miss. It's just real talk from my heart. I can't, I can't do it no other way. So thank you guys for watching my channel, man. It's been great. Um, haven't made a video in a while, but I want to I wanna start gearing my videos towards parents because you are the main ingredient on making sure your kids are successful. All right? And um, I appreciate you. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, I wish you all the, the very best. And if you have any questions, hit me up. Stay tuned for some webinars coming up where I'm going to address parents and, and, and football success and recruiting. That's coming real soon. So thank you. I appreciate you following me on Twitter, at Coach Chaney 96. Also on TikTok, uh, at Coach Chaney 96, and on Facebook. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.